Okay, so we're gonna work on um, on a birch panel. Uh, I love to work on the wooden panels. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm mixing uh, soft acrylic medium gel by Golden. Um, I prefer to use with uh, matte finish, and I use it with metallic uh, color. Uh, you can use any color you want, but I would like to encourage you to mix color with gel. I'm covering the whole panel, which uh, uh, gives me background. And then I chose a paper, um, wallpaper uh, piece that I had some leftovers of. Uh, and uh, I go again with the, with the same gel. Uh, I would like you to stay consistent and use the same medium gel through the whole project. So I generously cover the, uh, the sides. Uh, uh, it's practically you glue an application of uh, any paper that you want uh, on the panel. And uh, now what would be important is um, uh, to the way you press and apply pressure. Um, you have to be very careful and start in the middle and go with outwards movement. And the trick is here not to get any excess of uh, uh, gel back on the top of the paper. If you see, I'm making my movement out of the center. But every time I have gel on my uh, cards that I use here, uh, you need like some plastic uh, clean, sharp edges. So every time I use this card, I wipe it very clean and sometimes even wash with the water and make sure that there is no gel goes on top of the uh, wallpaper. Um, for beginners, I would suggest that you take a cutout of any figure. It could be male or female or child's figure. And then uh, just trace uh, the edges uh, of this uh, figure. If you're more advanced, you can uh, make a, a drawing of the figure on, on a paper, on a different paper, and then uh, uh, do the same process. So once um, you make this drawing, uh, you don't need uh, the original anymore. <laughs> now, uh, what um, I'm doing here, I'm choosing after I chose the image of the uh, transfer that um, I want to be done. Um, I put, in this case, I put a gel on the face of the transfer and I put it on top uh, of the very, very dry to touch wallpaper. Now the thing is that you have to wait uh, a while until the transfer is totally dry. When it's dry, you will start wetting it and removing the top layer slowly and methodically by rubbing it away. After you've done this process, you can play with the body or dress um, with more free movements because this is just a paint and if you don't like it, you can always repaint it. I wet uh, with clean water the transfer and start rubbing it again with a clean uh, cloth. Make sure you don't rub it too hard so you can you, because you can damage the uh, print underneath. So be very careful and uh, rub it with a clean water and a clean, um, preferably white uh, cloth cotton cloth.
Uh, it's a, a little bit tedious work, but uh, it, it's a beautiful result. Uh, after I cover it with a, a brilliant uh, varnish, gloss varnish, that I've got actually from a dollar store, and uh, I go in a gentle movement, covering uh, delicate details of the transfer to preserve them. Because if I wouldn't do this, uh, transfer will fade away and will look a little bit murky. Um, then I'm uh, building the layers of uh, um, of painting here, of uh, paint, because uh, of the different uh, levels of cutout, and um, I need to make it smooth. So I mixed a soft gel medium with uh, a little bit of paint, uh, and I'm trying to make a soft build up, almost like a building a 3D layer filling up all uh, crevices and nooks of the painting. Also, when uh, you s eventually smooth it, uh, because I, I, for example, I didn't want any brush strokes being seen there, like be very gentle and soft with uh, your spatula or whatever tool you're using. You see, you just go over and over with a very small and soothing uh, movement. And uh, as a last, uh, last thing I'm doing here, I will use uh, a glitter uh, to uh, sprinkle uh, on the top of uh, a fresh layer of paint while it's still wet so it can um, it wouldn't fall out <laughs>